In a shockingly bizarre move, OpenAI published a blog post about how they are going to work closely with the US government and their labs. This is no shock or this is no bizarre, but the blog post has mentioned nuclear four times. This is kind of weird, especially given that OpenAI has been doing some sort of this kind of thing where they try to compare OpenAI or any kind of open source AI with a nuclear research. But in this case, it's not about nuclear research, but they want to show how OpenAI's products like ChatGPT could be used to accelerate research and put United States on the map, the United States on the map. So in this video, I'm going to share everything that I know about it and then just make it out whatever you want. This is like the nuclear, 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 nuclear. The blog post says strengthening America's AI leadership with the US national laboratories, national labs. They are going to work with 15,000 scientists. The national lab hosts approximately 15,000 scientists working on a wide range of disciplines and uh, to advance our understanding of nature and the universe, very much like what Elon Musk says. And they are going to be supported by uh, OpenAI will work with Microsoft and will deploy O1 or another O series model, which has not been released here. And uh, there were rumors that probably like Sam Altman was there in the White House or Washington showing the next generation model. We don't know. It's just a rumor at this point. On Venado, uh, an NVIDIA supercomputer at Los Alamos National Laboratory. I think this is where the original um, atom bomb was designed, I guess. Um, my knowledge about history is quite bad, especially when it comes to these kind of things. Where it will be shared resource for researchers, Los Alamos, Lawrence Livermore and Sandia National Labs. So it has got like a lot of other information about how this can help uh, the US uh, benefit in different ways. One is like US global technical leadership, accelerating that and enhancing cybersecurity and protecting American power grid and a bunch of other things. The labs also lead a comprehensive program in nuclear security, focusing on reducing the risk of nuclear war and securing nuclear materials and weapons worldwide. This use case is highly consequential and we believe it is critical for OpenAI to support it as part of our commitment to national security. Our partnership will support this work and with careful and selective review of use cases and consultations on AI safety from OpenAI researchers with security clearance. This seems something that OpenAI has been trying to do since the new government came into picture in the US. It all started with the project's target. So US President Donald Trump announced the project's target. And this is a project where OpenAI is going to play a vital role. And there are like a bunch of other people trying to come and put in money. And in fact, the US President Donald Trump was asked about Elon Musk versus Project Target, especially in this case, uh, uh, Sam Altman and uh, Donald Trump actually said This is related to your AI, EO, just hours after you made that big Stargate announcement, Elon Musk tweeted that they don't actually have the money. Is that true? I don't know if they do, but you know, they're putting up the money. The government's not putting up anything. Uh, they're putting up money. They're very rich people, so I hope they do. And I mean, Elon doesn't like one of those people. So, Does you're are you worried that AI is going to replace many American jobs? No, Does that worry no, you? no. It's going to create tremendous numbers of jobs. It's going to also uh, create a lot of benefits medically for cancer research and other things. It's going to have a huge positive impact. And you know, we want to be ahead of China. We're right now way ahead of China. Uh, David Sachs is one of the all-time experts. You know, that people are amazed that he, you just met him. I don't know if he's still here. There he is. But, uh, but one of the most respected people in that world, to world. And uh, even Satya Nadella, who is the CEO of Microsoft, who always has maintained that OpenAI and Microsoft has got a close tie. For in this particular case, seem to be like um, not very satisfied. Uh, Elon Musk has already claimed that they don't have money to run this project. So this is like a very weird setup, but uh, with this setup and uh, with uh, the latest blog post by OpenAI, it seems like their intention is to be the organization uh, that comes to work with the government, especially the US government, whenever anything related to AI comes into picture. At the same time, Sam Altman said something like this, first full rack of GB200. Um, this is uh, an NVIDIA new computer. NVL72 running in Azure for OpenAI. Thank you, Satya and Jensen. So this all comes at a very bizarre time, to be honest. Like uh, if I have to give you like a roundup of the landscape, there has been a lot of leaks around how Microsoft and OpenAI's relationship might have got a crack. At the same time, the project's target was announced and uh, there was a news reporter asked Microsoft's CEO Satya Nadella about project's target and he kind of gave a very vague answer. And then he said like, I'm 
only concerned about the investment that he is making and at the same time now sam altman is further strengthening his relationship with the us government and uh, this is one of the examples of it and uh, this all has come at a time uh, where uh, deep seek as a company has been doing really well and this us versus china thing is going on and very bizarrely like another thing like open ai and microsoft are partners but microsoft azure is hosting deep seek it's a very weird landscape at this particular point um but just wanted to share what do you feel about this uh, private sector plus government sector do you really believe this is about national security or it's about lobbying i don't know just just let me know what do you feel about it but i think this is going to happen with a lot more other companies and different countries and we're going to see a lot more companies trying to align themselves with the political goals of or, um, you know the national goals of a particular country so that you know they can they can be in a better position to advocate any change or uh, for example anthropic ceo said that we must have some kind of a, a ban on gpus to china uh, more than what it is currently so we are going to see a lot of these kind of political discussions as we come closer in terms of competition but for us uh, let's see what is going to happen um, with open ai and their new models the unannounced oo series models i hope this was something new and you know some food for thought let me know in the comment section what you feel about it see you in another video happy prompting